Hello. I'd like to teach you today how to use the Benchmill 6100. Uh, the first step, as you see, we have the CNC Motion software open. This is the software that controls the machine. And what you're going to do is start by bringing your program in. So you've already, I'm going to minimize this, uh, and then you already have your program written on a Google Doc. You'll open that Google Doc, and then you'll just go ahead and copy your program. And make sure it's just your program. All right, and then you can do right click copy, or you could always do uh, control C. Then you're going to go back to CNC Motion, and if there isn't a program open, just simply do new, and then you can right click and then paste, and it pastes the program in. A couple things you want to notice is that it accepts the code, um, it color codes it. Um, all of the stuff that you had written as extra is in green, all of your G codes are in blue. Okay, um, all of your M codes are in M, and then the, the Z is red. Okay, and then it takes it through, and then orange is for the M30. The first thing you're going to do is always click over here on this little fourth icon, the verify icon. So you click on verify, and when you do that, um, you just simply click verify program, and what it's going to do is run through the program, but over on this screen. So right now, it's at the line where it's calling for a tool change. It says press S5 to continue. We press F5, and we can see that it cuts our part, and it stopped normally, so we hit OK. So now that we know that everything's ready, um, we're now ready to run the mill. And the first thing we're going to do is open the shield. And to do that, you're going to click on this icon to open the shield. And then later, I'm going to tell you that I opened the vise. This is the icon that we're going to use to open the vise. So let me go ahead and open the shield, and we'll get started. So as the shield opens, we're now ready to set up our block. So we have set up the uh, automatic pneumatic vise, and we're going to take our block that we're going to cut and place it in here. You want to make sure that it has this block underneath, which keeps it at the right height, and you're going to place it in. Always press it to the back corner, so that's going to lock it in. And then on the computer, you're going to click that icon I just told you about to close the vise. All right, that's going to close the vise, and then we always like to give it just a little tap tap, just to make sure that it's all the way down. The next thing we do is make sure that we have um, our tool in the in the tool holder and set up in the machine. So let's take a look at that. You always want to make sure the correct tool is in. For this first project, it's going to be using an eighth inch end mill. And eventually, when we get into our larger projects, we'll have the tool changer set up so that you'll be able to just call it and it'll change automatically. But right now, you always want to make sure um, that your correct tool is in. So I want to show you how to remove a tool and replace it. Um, it's very easy on this machine because it uses a pneumatic draw bar. You simply reach into the machine, hold on to the tool with a rag so you don't get cut, press the draw bar button, and it unlatches, and it allows the tool and the tool holder to come out. All of the tools for this machine are in these tool holders um, that are tapered, so it allows it to lock. To replace it, you simply press the toolbar button again, press this in until it stops, let go of the green button, and it locks it in place. So it's very easy to replace the tool. Our next step is to zero the machine to the part. We need to set our PRZ. Uh, if you first come into the machine, it's set on manual jog control where I can use these buttons. If I click on them, I can raise and lower the mill. Um, if you look at the little image here, I'm doing the Y. You can see it moving front and back. You can see the X moving at left to right, and you can see the Z going up and down. This works in a continuous, or it works in step. Right now it's in continuous that it just goes up, it just goes down. If I click it to step mode, like this one, when I go up and down, you can hear it just kind of click, click. It's going to move just one thousandth of an inch at a time, and that's going to allow us to zero it. What's going to happen is we're going to position the tool at the PRZ. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a real quick method where we just put it right at the corner. As we get into more complicated parts, we'll learn how to use an edge finder and offset. When it's finished, you're going to go to setup, 
and you're going to do um, set axis. Now, if you do zero position, zero position will set all three axes at once. It'll set X, it'll set Y, it'll set Z. If you do set axes to zero, that allows you to set one axis at a time, and we'll do that when we start to use um, our edge finder. So let's go ahead and take a look at on the machine um, how we're going to do this. Now one other thing is that we have on our machine is if we click on this little icon in the middle it's going to change it over to the hand wheel and the hand wheel is something that is going to allow you to set it up a little bit easier. Um, if you see in the camera now this is a hand jog wheel that we've now activated and when you set it to the certain axes um, by turning this, it's going to allow you to raise or lower the mill. All right, if you have it set to 100, okay, it goes 100 thousandths, or if you set it over here, it's just going to go 1 thousandths at a time. But this is a little easier because you can hold this in your hand um, while you're using the machine. So the first thing you want to do is bring your, your cutter close to your PRZ. So I'm going to start with the Z axis, and I have it set to times 100. So you just turn this, and it's going to bring the cutter down. And then we can do the y-axis and bring it front. And you can do this from the computer. It's just that this is easier because I can actually see it. Okay. Then you're going to get it close. We'll do the z again. And I'm going to teach you a lot of tricks um, as we get more into it. But right now, I just want to show you a real easy way to set the zero. So now that we're zoomed in, you can see the cutter. Um, I like to turn the cutter so that it kind of lines up uh, with the edge of the part. And we want to bring the cutter that it's almost touching the part. So I'm going to go real slow, uh, set it to the Z and bring it down. Get it real close. And then I'm going to use the X. And we're going to, I'll teach you using an, an edge finder. But what you want to do is put the, the bit that that edge flute is right in the center of the edge of the X axis. Then use the Y axis to so bring it front. And what I'm doing right now is I've got the edge of the cutter right at the end of the block. And then we're going to bring the cutter down that it's just touching uh, the top of the block. So let me do that. Go back to the Z. And again, I'm going to teach you more precise measurements as we get going. But this is just a, a quick way to do it in that right now the center of that uh, milling, milling cutter is right at the edge of our PRZ and the bottom of the cutter is touching it. At this point, you then go over to the computer where I showed you and you go under Setup and you select for this one zero position. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You say yes. When you do that, it zeroes everything out and you'll see that on your machine. Now the part and the machine are in sync with your code, whereas that is your PRZ, your part reference zero. Then when I'm done, what I like to do is I like to take the Z and I like to raise it up. Okay? So you want to set it to the Z axis and then you want to go ahead and raise it out of the way. So now we have our program on the machine, we have our part in the vise, and we set our PRZ, our part, our part reference zero. We're now ready to run. So first I'll show you from the CNC machine side, then I'll show you from the computer side. First thing I'm going to do is click on that button I showed you to close the shield. The machine will not run if the shield isn't closed. After I close the shield, um, I'm simply going to hit the run button, it's a green button. It's going to run the program. It's going to ask you, do you want to run it? You say run. And then this one moved itself up, and now it's waiting for a tool change. The tool's already in, so we just it tells us to press F5. We press F5 to continue. Okay. And now the cutter turned on at the 1400 RPM that we set. It's going to go into the part, an eighth of an inch, and now it's going to cut. So we cut the C, now it's going to start the S. Okay. 
And then the last one is the P. And then that's why we tell it to go up two inches so we can take the part out. Then you're simply going to, um, it tells you that it's a normal program stop. You're going to simply open the front shield. And then what I like to do is use a little bit of compressed air and, and we'll get rid of all of the chips. You can see the block that was cut. And then you simply open the vise and you carefully remove your block. Okay, and there you can see the finished block, how it cut the C, the S, and the P. And because we programmed it using that chart to line everything up, and we set our uh, PRZ right there, everything works out nice and centered.